Yep, it's a cabbie video. But it's a cabbie video of a difference to what we've been seeing recently. We'll not just talk about the work, but we'll talk about. Hey, we've got floor space. Floor space, just enough to squeeze another mini in. So, yeah, the race car's coming back in here, um, and we've got another shell coming, which is like a, a long term project. But I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that shell yet, so we we're hoping. Um, to do a Mark 4, the problem is it's not a Mark 4 shell, it's a Mark 5, so whether we'll do the shell or whether we'll get rid of the shell, see if we can stop it or not, I don't know. But anyway, yay! We've got some floor space, we've cleared some um, tools out of here, we've just got a, we've got a roof back on the shed. Well, we've done a little store, a little tool start, um, just to put a few bits in. It was, uh, we didn't have time to get the roof on, so we've managed to bodge a bit of the roof on it now, so we can get the tools out of here. And it's free, there's a room up to get the two cars in here. Anyway, right guys, stop that. Yeah, it's still winter, it's still freezing, absolutely bolty. Um, I spent a good bit of time, sat down under there, freezing my rear end off. So it's not the comfiest place. Um, I don't know, I'm clocking on now, so probably brought on me needing hips a bit sooner than I would have done. Anyway, it's, uh, where are we? What we've been doing on the cabbie? That's what we all want to know. As you can see, we started putting the boot floor in, which i um, pretty chuffed about. Subframe. Obviously the subframe, I'm going to drop that out shortly and then we can get into the, the rear seat squab um, to do the spots along there. Um, get a couple of spots on this back here. I've got a bit of cleaning up on the lip that I want to do. Just got to make sure everything shuts and is right and is tight. You know, I don't want any. Uh, I don't want any dodgy lines. I know they weren't great out of the factory, but I don't want it looking any worse than it come out of the factory. You know, I want it looking um, like it did come out of the factory. Hence, you know, the effort to make sure everything's put out and full panels are put in and spot welds and everything because we want it to be factory um, or as near as damn as can be really anyway what I'm going to do I'm going to fly through now might as well show you a few spot welds I mean they're not exactly riveting things to watch but at least we know it's getting done which is always good right back you guys here I think I mean, there isn't much to see really. Some guy swinging some tool around. Buzz, buzz a few times. That's also bouncing panels out the way that are in the way. Right, let's see how far we can get under on this. It's a bit, um, a bit awkward trying to get in, obviously. Big spot like that. Lots of roll cage type of stuff. Don't go them too well. As you can see guys, a couple of buzzes, um, straight on, prep works a little bit more because you've got to strip a little bit more paint off but compared to one of the grind welds now, well, different world. And then you get that factory finish as well. Like I say, it's a bit awkward getting in so, a bit twisty. I'll put this camera back down and I'll just plod on, getting this front lip in and I can get that subframe out. Hopefully, before the boss gets home, it's the last day at work today. I've already broke up. Yay! Means I can get more work done on the cabbie. Oh! Another bit of great news. It looks like we've got an early Christmas present. We've got a big box. We've got a nice big package. We've not opened it yet. Um, but I've got a funny feeling what's in it. We'll open it in the next video and I'll have a look what's in it. Um, but yeah, it's got to be good news. Right, I'll carry on uh, 
spotting this in. I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll get you on a standard. See if we can get a bit of a better... A better look at what we're doing. I've had some all the time to make life a lot easier, I suppose. But hey ho, I haven't, so... Camera stand it is. We're nearly there, honest. If we'll try there, that seems to be all right. Um, I'll get these spot welds on and get back with you. I'll just move that scuttle panel out of the way. It's uh, in your vision a bit. Now you might notice I'm having pulled the spot welder upside down.
we're just about there on this side. Um, a little bit more paint removal. Um, I've not quite took enough off the front edge there. I don't know if you can see where I'm even pointing. Um, just on the front on this side where I am over here. Try and get these few more here now we've got that bit of extra paint removed. Try and get a bit more uh, light on the game as well. So it's nice to see what the world is. Try and get in from the other side to get a few onto the other side. I think I've got a little bit of paint still underneath there. So I'll, uh, I'll probably put the wire brush onto the grinder just to play that back, get them a few spots onto it. Right, let's see if it can work out again this side.
getting a bit compressed, it'll be a bit more compressed than you want to raise the size of Right guys, I'm more or less across there, like I say I've got a little bit of paint to take off on this side, um, just why I've missed a little bit of paint, I'm not getting proper contact, um, I don't like painting these things, like I say, if you, if, you get, um, if you get one high quality models, um, you have pulse modes and all sorts, you know, but for a proper one, it measures the thickness of the steel and, you know, it does it to, it does it to some sort of standard. You're looking, at, you're looking at a couple of grand for one of them and obviously you know it's uh, that second hand price is a lot. 
but uh, we're not we're not a proper body shop. We're just um, we start now. We need to go. These little things are bound, but they are limited as to how carried away you can get with them. But so making the job easy, yeah, we do that. No end. Right, so I'm gonna a couple of tacks at the boot end. Like I say, I've got that lip to sort out, but I wanna drop the subframe out. Um, once I've dropped the subframe out, I can start doing across um, where the rear bulkhead um, meets the seat squab and start spotting them in. Um, we're going to have to sort some out with the bars um, and the welder um, just to give us a bit more reach. We've got some longer ones but it, the piers are a bit narrower but maybe we'll find a bod around it we'll soon see. Right, we'll pull this spot welder out here and I'll take it round to the back. We're getting them a couple of bits on.
Right guys, so that's um, a few tacks put on the back. I'm going to drop the subframe out of the way now. That's the easiest thing I've done.
Right guys, so that's the sub frame out. And uh, now look at getting this uh, back bulkhead clamped up now. And getting that sub frame out. Right guys, I'm on, the, I'm on the hunt for the clamp, so instead of putting you guys through the pain and the misery of the, the hunt for another clamp, we'll show you where we are. Right, so we've got a, we've still got a couple of spots to go in there, we just must have a little bit of paint that we're just clipping on the back of it. But other than that, we're fully spotted in along the front. We're about to move on to the back bulkhead. Put a few in just to hold it at the back. We haven't gone right the way across. I just want to make sure everything's covered about in that first. So just a couple either side. Good few around where the bumper would bolt, but it'll be the body kit. Not really on there you know, because this is um, all getting cut out as we know, so we're getting new quarters in. Anyway, there we go. The boot floor is a lot closer to being a boot floor than it ever has been. Which I'm glad to hear. Well, since I cut it out anyway. <laughs> Here's that hack of it there. Right guys. Um, so we'll call it a video with that. We'll just say this was a boot floor vid. Um, obviously we put the subframe in. Um, to make sure everything lined up. Smooth. Really nice. Um, even the holes at the back. More or less I just lined the holes up at the back. Um centre one was a bit funny, but like I say it was a little bit chewy around there. Um lined them up, subframe in and everything lined up perfect, all the bolts went in perfect and no chew at all. Which I was really happy with. Um obviously last thing you want to do is get in and find out your subframe's not sitting in right for some crazy reason. I mean something's gone wrong somewhere along the line, but yeah, that's uh, that's good news. Subby goes in nice. Seat squabs there. It's about to tie up to the bulkhead. Progress. That's what we all like, isn't it? Right, guys. Um, way. I lost my hat somewhere. Hey ho. So we'll call that a video at that. Um, there'll be another video out pretty sharpish. Um, say we've got we've got that box of. Uh, it's a large box, big consignment. So it's got to be mini stuff. Santa's got with uh, you know shot a summit in and they um, get this project on the move so next video we'll see what that is um, for now I'm going to carry on just plod on get them spot welds in so all that boots done and that's out the way um, and we'll see what happens with the box there right guys see you in the next one bye all monkey rascal